YouTube and welcome to the clean white box call the council now guys this thing is what the best programmers use in JavaScript to edit their code now the console is different from what we have been using before the console allows you to debug your JavaScript code on the fly in the past we have been using brackets.io and notepad plus plus however with this tool built by Google it allows you to edit your code on the fly it allows you to make changes and it allows you to debug your code and fix errors in other programming languages such as Python Java these things allow you to their special software and tools that allow you to debug and check for errors Google has made big strides in helping us JavaScript developers make changes and correct our code. Now, in order, order for you to check the console, you need simply just to left click on any website, inspect the element, and just go to console. Now, sometimes you may see errors. All you need to do is clear it. Okay? Really simple, guys. So let's get started with what I call numerical operators. Now, numerical operators help us to adjust our JavaScript code based on numbers. So for instance, let's say we have something like variable Grimes is equal, sorry, variable Grimes is equal to four plus 15 or 13 let's say for example now we can clean up the code a little bit doesn't matter we press enter it's undefined right but what we can do is console dot log grinds seventeen so if you take a look at this here you're gonna get 17 right another way what we could do is we could say well hey we could look at maybe something like variable x is equal to 7 or 6 let's say 7 right x is equal to x plus 1 so we have variable x is equal to 7 x is equal to x plus 1 by default x will be 8 right so in the console we basically don't do document not write or alert, but we do something called console.log. And we already have the number displayed. We could just put X and see what happens. We're going to get 8. I'm going to ignore this X HTML request, whatever. It's not a problem. But it just shows you what you can do in the console. Okay. Let's say that I go to another one. Let's say that I go to another one. For instance, we can say we can go on to the model as function. I could say maybe a hundred. And using the percentage sign, I'm gonna get one because three into a hundred is ninety-nine, right? And the remainder one. Okay? So you're basically getting one as a remainder right we could find like basically like an even numbers so i could say let's say if let's say something like four four modulus two is zero right so this is 0 4 modulus 2 
Amazing, right? No remainders. So if I say if an if statement, we're gonna go an if statement still, but I'm, I'm just going something. If for modulus two is equal to zero. Alert. Hello. Okay, that didn't work, but whatever. A lot of times, I didn't even close it, but I'm going to say if for modulus 2 to 0, I'm going to say alert hello okay so it basically shows up hello right basically she's if if four is an even number right alert hello it's not a big deal anyway I'll give you an next example. So let's say that uh, we have something like we're going to clear this. Again, it's going to make a lot of problems, but whatever. Variable x is equal to 20. x plus plus now by adding x the plus plus shows that you're adding one to the value that's all it shows because before i showed you about adding on numbers and whatever this one adds on one okay so you're going to add on one to the value so x plus plus right it's not going to show anything but if we do console dot log and it shows you're ready we're going to see 21 so you're going to add this adds one to the assignment operator okay now we can do another kind of operator which we do the plus equal sign so we're going to say let's say variable richard is equal to 20 25 okay i can say Richard plus equals 30. So I'm basically by doing this adding 25 to 30. Plus equals 30. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to say 25 plus 30 is 55. Okay, so these are one of the, the ways you could use the console to just simply add on numbers and to just play around with stuff. Now, we can use what is called the minus operator. So we could say Richard minus... As we know, Richard is 25. So let's say uh, we have Richard is is, is is now 55, as it is 55, right? So Richard minus 10 would be 45, okay? So we're going to show the multiply equal sign. So let's say again, let's say, let's say uh, variable Grimes is equal to 100. Okay. 
Real simple. It is real simple, guys. So, grind is 100. We have that. Grimes minus twenty five. We have seventy five. Okay, so we also have divide equals Grimes divide equals. 25 3 so we have 75 which is basically grimes now because remember when we take the grimes and grimes now equal to 25 grimes mi minus equal 25 equals 75 right now we could take 75 divide which is grimes 75 divide equals by 25 75 divided by 25 basically is 3 so again guys this is how you use assignment operators numerical operators in javascript um i'm going to be discussing new things in the future now i want to also do one last thing uh let's clear the console and discuss what is called i'm not too sure if it's i'm going to see if i can copy and paste it but fizz buzz right this is an example this is a way in which you could in which you 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 could show different things right it, it, it's a way in which you can understand numerical operators right so it's just to play around with it um let's see if i maybe put some like n let's put n is 25 right let's put n as 100 again it's just playing around but fizzbuzz is amazing it actually shows you how to do different things um if you do the variable i equals to one i is less or equals to n i plus plus we want to show that the number is a multiple of three and five so in this one you're going to facebook stuff like amazon is going to ask you different questions right for instance if i take it and copy and paste again let's let's, let's remove this copy paste right console log if i were to probably take fizzbuzz One hundred. So it's gonna it's gonna spit out a lot of functions. Eighty eight fizz buzz right. You're gonna see a lot of stuff, and it's just showing it in the console fizz buzz different things of this of this function. Again, with this function, it's very complicated. So I'm not gonna go in much depth, but I'm, it's basically showing you at certain points in a loop, and I will be explaining loops in the future how you can spit out certain numbers. Whether they are a multiple of three and five, it's a multiple of three, different sort of stuff. So this is ex this is a, a really ex advanced way of showing you how to run a function in an algorithmic form. So again, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.